Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophy Nuts, and welcome back to Andromeda Mass Effect Andromeda. Uh, we're still at the initiative at the Nexus, and uh, we're gonna check up on uh, Scott in the cryo bay. He looks pretty good, but Dr. Carlyle, what can you tell me? Harry, what's happening with Scott? Well, we got him out of the pod. I don't want to get your hopes up, but Sam managed to uh, find him, you might say. I don't follow. Well, he's still in a coma, but he also has an implant like yours, and Sam managed to access it. He's oh. made contact. Okay, so he's actually talking to Skolten then. I wouldn't think that's even possible. Hmm, interesting. You and me both, but Sam, well, I guess supercomputers have a different view of things. They're in a coma. Scott's mental processes remain intact. So is he okay? You can ask him yourself. A moment while I establish a link with his implant. Oh, this is gonna be creepy. Proceed. Scott? Can you hear me? Is that you, Sarah? I don't understand. What's happening? Oh, well, that's there the first time we heard Scott's your voice. Pod. You're in a coma on the Hyperion. Do you understand? Wow, really? How are we talking? Sam linked into your implant, but they say you're stable. You're safe and sound in the med bay. Guess I'll take your word for it. I can't feel anything, but I still hear you. Hmm. Is that okay? Oh, is this a, a time to say that to him while he's in a coma? Um, well, he can't freak out or anything, so he's dead. I'm not sure how to say this, but he's dead, Scott. What? There was an accident. What do you... accident? How... I mean, dead? I know. It was all very sudden. Nothing anyone could do. I don't believe it. I'm sure he'd want to be here now. Did we at least find home? Dad kept talking about how amazing it would be. Hmm, it didn't work out or it's even better. We're gonna make it better, so... Just wait till you see it. It's amazing. Even better than the hype. I hope Dad got to see it. He did. Well, really. But I hey... Be with you now. Um, don't worry, you will eventually. You were never one to quit, little brother. A nap won't hold you back. Yeah, I guess so. Dad would want us to push on. So would Mom. Yeah, wherever they are. I figured Mom is giving him the business for them. Oh. What happened? The connection was only temporary. His condition remains stable. Okay. Please don't kill him. Sam, Sorry, take it easy. It seemed better than nothing. I'll keep you posted, promise. Thanks, Harry. That was all kinds of creepy. Although it would be cool if you could talk to somebody in a coma, but... Yeah, that, that just is kind of creepy. So I think... Just gonna quickly check the quest log, but I think we, get, we can continue back to a new planet. So give me a second. And I was correct, so let's get back to the Tempest. And get on board and see what new horizons we can start to discover. I don't know, what the hell is that guy doing? Who is squatting? With his gun in his hands. What's this terminal? Holy shit. Uh, Gian Garson mourned. Residents are still mourning the loss of Gian Garson. The initiative foundry was killed when the Nexus hit the Scourge. An official tribute is planned, though director Jaron Tan has provided few details so far. Without Gene, we wouldn't be here, he said, but now we are here. We need to focus on surviving before we can celebrate. Uh, okay, so that's sort of a news log. HNS, so that's the, uh, the network, uh, the news network on uh, Helios. But I'm not gonna read all that. Can I actually enter this? No. Okay, so let's get into the Tempest. Yes. And there we go again. Taking off. That still looks like crap, by the way.
Oh, and suddenly we're outside. Cora that is check in with you. great. Cora wanted to che check in with you. Okay, then. Let's quickly go take a look, then. Although I don't really know why she would... What the hell? Good idea. I know I'll need a refresher. Just a tip. If you need to evac in deep space, you're probably not coming back. Only if you don't know the drill. So she sh she sounds like she's over here. Although that might have been just a speaker, because she should be right over here. Report from the Nexus. Population's growing as people wake up. Lots of hopefuls waiting for a home. Bradley will have all the help he can take. They'll be starting crops soon. Population growing is growing as people are waking up. Yeah, though. Can't tell if they have enough water or too much. I grew up on a little cargo freighter. Only saw gardens and vids, but I always loved them. I daydreamed about planting a big rose garden when we got here, and still imagine it sometimes. Roses in Helios. Huh. Interesting. So. Aside from being a biotic goddess, she's also into gardening. Food first and flowers. I like that idea. Never mind. It'd be good to bring something beautiful across galaxies. Everyone in the initiative has their something beautiful. I didn't for a while. After I left the Asari commandos, well, I didn't leave. My mentor, Nasira, said I should go. Why? The initiative would suit you better, was all she said. Being a huntress suited me fine, but she insisted. Hmm. That was kind of cold of her, indeed. Wow. You fight side by side, then she gives you the brush off? It hurt. One big kick out of the nest. Still, that's familiar. When your biotics are honed into huntress-grade weapons, people can be weird about it. The initiative seemed better. Just didn't see how I'd fit into their brave new galaxy. I never fit anywhere before. Then I met some jerk named Ryder. Talked about traveling to Andromeda like he was teaching you how to see it. And what exactly appealed to you at that moment since you... You had all that power, you could have gone anywhere, but why Andromeda? What part of that vision made you want to take the plunge? A civilization where everyone had a place. Even AI. Or an overpowered human biotic. Your father said... I get being different. Now imagine being welcome and making others like you welcome too. When I was 13, I could warp a steel girder. He made me wonder, what if someone had told me that's okay? Apparently he could inspire people indeed. He gave you a dream to work toward. He was good at that. Who doesn't want to belong? Especially somewhere like the Initiative. So I gave the Initiative my all. I kept thinking of the niche I wanted, my rose garden. I thought I knew what I was going to be. This is about not taking over as Pathfinder? Didn't think it would still sting. Nasira, your father, even my parents. They leave, I'm left without answers. Nowhere to stand. Hmm. Move on, Cora, or none of this is fair. Because yeah, it's kinda, it kind of sucks for her that she didn't get the position. And I just went to uh, dear old daughter, but yeah, none of this is fair. I get that. We've all had a lot of disappointments lately. You're doing well. For having no training, being your second isn't so bad. And if that remnant tech pays off, maybe someday I'll have roses too. And maybe we all smell the roses at that point. Okay, thank you, Cora. That was interesting enough. Let's head back to the bridge then. And uh, see where we can go on the galaxy map. Nobody here wants to talk to me? No? Where's my data pad? Oh, how'd you get under there? I would have liked yeah, an animation with that. Were you talking to your notebook? Oh, I was, wasn't I? I do that sometimes. Okay, then that's totally normal. Galaxy map. Okay, so Ono Onaon? Onaon? A Trail of Hope. Here we go. Kind of went to that planet first because I was kind of confused at how the map worked for a second there. If I'm completely honest with you guys. 
But yeah, these, these animations are really, really freaky sometimes because this is kind of epilepsy and you see the world. What? Objects. Wait, what? Corrections. Sam, are you on this? Collision is imminent. Okay, then. I'll stop now! What was that? What is happening to your face? What is happening to all of their faces? Is this normal? Cat ships. A dozen. No, more. We are experiencing some graphical bugs. Holy shit, there's a lot of them. They've got us pinned against the scourge. They are scanning us, Pathfinder. We'll scan them back! What is happening? I think it's fixed. Yeah, okay, it's fixed again, because that was that pre-rendered stuff. Oh, he's speaking English all of a the sudden. DNA signature is there. Answer me. You first. You're the one in my way. Who are you? That is a big ship. They've lost navigation. Maybe we shouldn't antagonize the them. Just tell me what you want. I won't explain what you can't understand. Ryder, I have almost regained control of the ship. I need a few more seconds. Hmm. I might understand. I actually know a lot about the Remnant. We should compare notes. Enough! Your defiance is naive and reckless. This day marks the beginning of your greatness. Was that long enough, Sam? There we go. Sam? I have plotted a potential course through the scourge. Do it! Okay, this is... This is getting interesting. Finally, some space action. Oh! <laughs> okay, that looked hilarious. Report! Enemy destroyed. Damage to aft sensors. Scourge got it? Yes. Get us out of here! Yeah, I think we're, we know that, Liam. Thanks for the input, though. Finally! Space battles! Oh, shit, that thing it's is growing. Hello? Yes! Are you guys even doing anything, or is that just Sam doing all the work? <laughs> nice work, kid. Oh. Yeah. Okay. But who the hell was that guy? Ryder, we've got trouble down here. You need to find us a port now. Okay, Great. why? Where do we end up, anyway? Sensors are damaged, but I think we're at the vault's coordinates. You think? Gil, give it what you can. We're setting down. Wow, that was interesting all of a sudden. Kind of got ambushed by the... Oh, that doesn't look good. We're being contacted. By who? Oh, by those we guys. We have to land. Open a comm. Okay. Tove Jagalesto. Hi. Tove Jagalesto. Um, he come in peace? We're visitors from another galaxy. Our intentions are peaceful. I don't think they speak uh, English. They've sent us a nav point. Set us down. Oh, don't tell me these guys speak English. That's weird enough. Although all the aliens speak English. Ooh, that looks beautiful. Yes. <laughs> Look at that. It's beautiful. Like an oasis in the... Wow. Interesting. So they kind of made a lush oasis for themselves within these lava-covered areas. We need in that vault. Ah, Please, of course, they use the you're vault. You're really going out there on your own. We can't afford a repeat of last time. I'm the Pathfinder. First contact is on me. Most important thing ever. <laughs> no pressure. Well, I'll lighten up a bit. If this goes badly, if I get eaten alive, even if it's hilarious, Please destroy the vids. Why did you just talk about getting eaten alive? These guys walk funny. Or girls. Guys and girls. Okay, even the mesh was loading in there. Please don't... Is, is that a, a, a symbol they're gonna understand? Putting your hands in the air? Need me to take my shoes off? <laughs> okay then. They almost sound German. 
Okay. These look like, oh yeah, those are definitely new. That's definitely a I'm new species. I'm Shai, governor of Aya. We are the Angara. The Hello. fish people. I'm a pathfinder with the initiative. Yes, you crossed dark space. I've heard of your journey. Jol, I have this in hand. Ephra saw this ship come in and sent me to find out what's going on. That She's is interesting. She's a human from another galaxy. A pathfinder. Hmm. Aya is hidden. Protected. What do you want? Um, to exchange knowledge? Maybe try that? We didn't know what we'd find here, to be honest. But I'm open to sharing what we know, if you are. <laughs> Honest? Honesty would be a good start. Thank you, I suppose. You... Are you smiling? I'll inform I think he's Ezra. smiling. He'll be waiting for you in his office at the Resistance Headquarters. I'll meet you there. The Resistance Headquarters? I will accompany you through our city. Your crew will stay on your ship. Follow me. Okay. Oh, that's an Follow interesting closely. stance. Do not try to explore the city or interact with anyone. Ephra's guards will use force if necessary. Okay. Understood. Is it okay to ask you questions? I suppose. Okay. Keep moving. Let's okay, follow her then. Okay. Can't really follow if her at full governor, speed, but... Why do I need to see this Ephra? He's leader of the Resistance. What's that? They fight the Ket and protect us. Okay. Are these the first aliens that where the females don't have boobs? I think it is. Unusual levels of electrostatic energy in the Angara. Wait. Can they glow in the dark? I think they can. Can I, can I scan anything? I'm not gonna even try, because I, I think they chewed me. Why that intimidating? You're an outsider who invaded our home. We know nothing about you. I'm not here to cause trouble. Then keep moving. This place is pretty. The nice waterfalls and these funny looking sunscreens all over the place. And stop staring. That's a human. A None human of the local flora register in my data files. We've encountered an undiscovered ecosystem. Awesome. That, that's Your good city news, is right? Beautiful. Thank you. You're the first outsider to see it. I'm honored. Yeah, because it is really, really beautiful. Kinda almost looks like a Final Fantasy level. What happens level. if Ephra doesn't like me? He won't. But you need to earn his trust. It'll be okay. He's responsible for everyone's safety. I know what that's like. You're a leader. Trying to be. Oh, these guys look really, really funny. Enter the Angaran Resistance headquarters. They are bullies. But this situation is now your fault. Don't get kicked out, Moran. Not because of them. But you're telling me to be weak. No. I am telling you to be strong through your cunning and heart. Okay? I kind of <clears throat> see um, a common thread with all these new characters. They all have some digital eye thingy. Because Vetra has one as well. Resistance. I know. Okay, that looked like a remnant rifle, by the way. Okay. Our experience with the Ket makes us naturally distrustful of all aliens. Um, yeah, I understand that. We've had our own run-ins with the Ket. Then you really do understand. When the Archon came to Helios, he demolished our sovereign state. Took what he wanted, as if we were nothing. Now, the Ket mercilessly abduct Angara, often... We never see our people again. Come this way. Ephra is waiting. Wait, the Ket kidnap you? Steal your people? And the Resistance fights them every day. With everything we can. Is it attrition? What are they after? You should save your questions for Ephra. Kadara be damned. I won't lose Vold. 
Jarl is a pretty good, Ephraim, cool guy. This is one of the aliens from the Milky Way. A Pathfinder. The Milky Way? Pathfinder. Oh, this it's guy looks scarred. Move coming to Aya. Damn right, or I apologize. Yeah, I kind of apologize. It wasn't meant that way. I have an arc full of desperate people counting on me to find them a home before they starve. Of course, I feel for you and your people. So, Pathfinder, never mind how you even found us. Why are you here? On because a hostile of the planet arc. we call Eos, I explored an ancient structure, a vault, and brought it back online. It stabilized that planet's environment. Remnant. Recent intelligence supports that claim. If I'm right, there's a vault on Aya that's different. I need to look inside. They kind of probably know about it since this area right. is so clean. There's a vault out there, but it was shut years ago and the entrance hidden. We can't help you the most I could. She's our most revered scientist and elder. She knows this vault, but now the Ket have her, and our rescue attempts failed. She's lost to us, and you. They kind of have a weird reverb in their voice, but... Um... Does it have to be her, or can do it without her? Does it have to be her? There must be another way. How can I convince you? Can I offer help? Arrogant. I don't know you, let alone trust you. Why would I want your help? Of course. Because you need Ephra, all the help you can get? I feel. Ephra, what this alien says is extraordinary. The Moshai would want us to be brave and not let this chance pass. Joel, you talk too much. Let Apparently me he does. assess this alien. I'll be your eyes. I know you can spare me. Go if you want. But when she tries to kill you, be prepared to strike first. Why would we want to I'm kill Jal him? Amadarav. I'll be your envoy through Angaran space. Jal Amadarav. Okay, I'm grateful. Thank you for trusting me. Welcome to the team, I Jal. Don't. But I can always kill you in your sleep. Oh, okay, hey then. He's not only a cool guy, he's also a very lovely guy. Um, enter the Angaran Resistance. Ooh, trophy! First steps. We shook hands with the Angara. Okay. I've organized my analysis of Aya. Shall I relay it to the Nexus? Probably. Definitely. Be careful out there. Hmm. You know I will. You really think the Nexus is alive? Ship's fixed up and ready to fly. I'm sure of it. Don't kill yourself bringing her home. No promises. Okay, so these guys know each other. Um, docking access controls, here we go. Your ship is... <laughs> we have nothing like it. Wait till you see the inside. <laughs> it gets better. Yeah, it looks quite oh, fancy yeah. on the inside. You ready to go? Um, I, I think, yeah. Is there something else I can do here? I don't think there was anything else at the moment. So, yeah. I'll introduce you to the rest of my crew. Here we go. Jal. That's a, a very fancy name. His voice kind of sounds familiar for some reason. I do wonder who his actor is, who the voice actor is of Jal. Because I'm assuming Jal will be a permanent addition to the team. Maybe, I'm just possibly. As far as first contact goes, at least that went better than the last one. Okay. There's a discussion going on here. Yeah, what happened? I wanted to look around. And now we have another mouth to feed, whatever he eats. Hmm. Everybody's suspicious Did of him. Did the translators not work? They work. They work. <laughs> um, can't we just play nice here, please? Come on, everyone. Can we just all please try to just listen up? Begging. Interesting strategy. Ryder, we followed our best lead here, and now we don't even have that. Jal has offered to do what he can to help us access the vault on Aya. How do we do that when we're leaving the planet it's on? That's... a fair point. Jal? Seriously? 
<laughs> Settle down. Right is right. There's an Angara right here. Let's hear from the new guy. Come on, Jarl, speak up. The crew likes to hear your voice. And it stays silent. One day, about 80 years ago, the Archon and the Ket arrived in Helios. And the horror began. They declared war? Nothing so easy to define or fight. The Ket kidnap Angara. Their people disappear without a trace. What if they were us? Sure, I'll fight Ket all day long, but that's no plan. I agree. We need to get into that vault rider. Surprisingly, I'm with PB. Our own mission has to take priority. We have a plan. Kind of. Pretty solid. Joel? The resistance is stretched thin. I was tasked with traveling to two of our worlds at our briefing this morning. And you'll accompany me. Because? Because then Ephra will see you as trustworthy. You want that. Jals told me about these two worlds, Havarl and Vold. Before the Scourge and Vold. disaster, Vold was a thriving planet of billions, a shining center of technology and life. And now? It's the center of our ground war against the Ket. Our resistance base is fighting Ket Command for control of the planet. What about the other? Aval is the birthplace of the Angara. It's started to degrade, to become wild and dangerous. We suspect remnant. So there might even now be a vault talking. on that planet. We've recently lost contact with our scientists. Still don't get how any of this helps us. I do. Help us, or rather help me, and I'll vouch for you, right? Because Jal wants inside Aya's vault, too. Pathfinder, it's your call. Huh. Who, me? <laughs> yes, it is, I'll think. Thanks. Yes, it is. Don't know yet. Just be ready to go at a moment's notice. Got it? You bet. Jal, Thanks. give Thanks, Pella Petra. the nav points for both planets. Let's do this. Sounds like I would want to go to the second one, Havarl, first. Full roster, okay. So that kind of confirms it, that Jal was the last addition to the team. Interesting. Um, I do need to check my email. I need to check my email. There was something for, for about BB's project on that. Still compiling my first impressions. Even their body language is so emotional. I can't wait for my first session with Jarl. Huh. Try not to scare him away, huh? Try not to scare him away. Yeah, indeed. What's this? Can I check this? Do I need any? Can I do anything else? One reward to collect. Oh, yeah, right. The minerals. Acquired minerals delivery. No rewards to collect, and I don't have any points available, so thank you very much. More iron, aluminum, and iridium. Maybe I can make something. Give me a second. There we go. I made the upgrade for the raptor and a phalanx uh, pistol as well. So that should do nicely. Um, I need to check Aya my email. So Where is the email? There's the email server. Terminal. The there we go. Remtech. From PB to Rider. Thanks to that remnant storage box from the EOS vault, all I need is one particular piece of Remtech to complete my project. My scanner located what I need on Vault. If we have a chance, can we go find it? PB. Okay, and then, ugh, your doctor is one of the nosiest Asari I've ever met, and that's saying a lot. She needs to take it down four or five notches or I won't be long for the show, which would be too bad, I think. Ah, oh, never mind. Okay then, so let's acknowledge the Remtech. I'm proud to be here from Liam. Hey, Pathfinder, just hitting this point again. Our team? No place I'd rather be. Here's where we get to fix things. Soon as we have people on the ground, I'll have eyes on how to get them what they need. This sort of just make it happen is why I joined Hustle, and exactly that why I came here. We'll do it. Liam has included the list of media teamed to Frontiers. Genres include westerns, space opera, and oddly Turian historical dramas. Okay then. 
Yo, the boss from Vetra. I thought I ought to clarify. I know I said something about back channels doing what I have to do. Being on the Nexus during the bad times, a lot of us got used to, to a lot of ugly things. Because survival just isn't that pretty. But in the end, I'm here to help you. So if there's anything you don't like, I won't do it. Simple as that. Okay, thank you, Vetra. In case you're interested, attached is my Krogan thesis that I mentioned to you. I know, only 500 pages, but I wasn't allowed to go over. If you get through it, I wrote a longer dissertation for the Citadel Journey Journal of Medicine, around 1400 pages. That's much more insightful and includes mating diagrams. <laughs> okay then. And then news from Eos from August Bradley. I could use your help with something Hainley's working on. I don't fully understand, so I'll let her explain. She'll brief you when you get there. Okay, and then I got a plan from Liam. Come by when you've got a minute. Okay, thank you for the email update. Recover the REM tech from the remnant site on Vold. Interesting. So, I'm going to take a little break, and when we get back, we're going to decide to which planet we're going to go first. So, uh, thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel, because I'd really appreciate any support you guys can give me. So thanks again enormously for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video or series. Goodbye!